to this part. Most of the time when I talk to people about knives and plants and tying knots and starting fires, they look at me like I got three heads, <laughs> you know. But as Kevin just explained, you know, the, the time is coming when we're not going to be able to buy and sell if we choose to be faithful to the Lord. And we need to be as independent as possible. And it's very freeing to, to have knowledge and skills and know how to do stuff. But as far as not tying, I want to tell you a practical reason why I think we all need to know how to tie some knots, basic knots. And it, it's basically the same reason why I think everybody should take a first aid course, you know, and even go a step further and take a wilderness first aid course. Because it's just so, you, you never know when you're going to need that knowledge and that skill. Somebody's life could depend on it. And we actually had a situation where somebody's life kind of did depend on me knowing some knots. Where, we, where my husband and I used to live, um, we had neighbors that lived up the hill, it's in Kentucky, everything's uphill in Kentucky or downhill. And um, they lived way up on the ridge ahead, above us, and it was what, maybe 300 feet higher than us, honey? Something like that. So it was pretty steep climb getting up to their house. And we had a good snow and some really cold weather. And the neighbor's wife, they had borrowed somebody's Jeep because their vehicle was torn up. And Kalen just happened to go outside to do something and he heard beep, 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 beep. He came running in the house. He said, let's go. Debbie's hung up on the hill. And sure enough, our neighbor lady got part way up the hill and she couldn't go any further because it's a north facing slope and it was frozen. The, the driveway was frozen. And their driveway on, on one side was steep up and then there was their driveway and then it was steep going down and her Jeep was sliding backwards. Ufta. Ufta is right. So what we did when we got there, <coughs> my husband is a better runner than me so he ran uphill to get her husband. I ran back down to the Jeep and we had a big rope in the Jeep and I grabbed the, the rope and I tied a bowl into her hitch I went around a tree on the bank opposite of the ravine and I went around it and I tied a trucker's hitch. Does anybody know these two knots, the bowling and the trucker's hitch? Those are the two we're going to teach you today. It takes a little practice, but we're going to at least show you and expose you to it. So I was able to, to tie off her Jeep to keep it from slipping backwards. Now when her husband came, he untied it and backed it down the hill real fast and kind of made a disaster of the, the fender, but he got it out and he got it back up the hill. But at any rate, she was in a panic. She was crying and just in a panic. And so I praise God that I knew those, those, those were the only two knots I knew at the time. Let's see, stick. Yep. All right, now you're gonna hold the stick like you mean to hang on to it, okay? All right, Kaylin, you're my other stick man. All right, if you ever need to bind a load and you don't have a chain and a buck, chain buck, but you do have a rope, you can still do it. Okay, on that end I have our bowling. We just have a bowling tied around that. Do you guys think that I can pull these two fellas together? Sure you can. <laughs> okay, this is the trucker's hitch. I'm just going to show you quick because some folks have to leave. What I do is I have my standing in attached to one side of my load, and this is my working end that I'm working with, okay? So I'm going to come about a third of the way up between the rope, and I'm going to twist the loop away, tw make a loop away from myself, okay? So I'm going to twist a loop away from myself, and then I'm going to come underneath and just pull a little bit of that through, you see? Everybody see that? Okay, so I'm going to twist away from myself. And then and this is called a bite. Whenever you have a bend in a rope like that, that's called a bite. This is a loop. This is a bite. So I'm going to make a loop, and I'm going to pull a bite up through the bottom of that loop and pull it towards me. Okay, that's the, that's the main part of the trucker's hitch. 
And then I'm going to come up and get my other end. Yeah, you can back up a little bit. Okay. Now, let's say I need to bind down a load. <laughs> I love it. Ladies love to, to, to learn this knot. <laughs> but then, look, here's the cool thing. It wow. doesn't bind. It just pulls right out. So back up a little bit, guys. Let's do this again. All right, hold it like yeah, you mean it. Here. This is a bowline. That's a bowline right there. So you make a loop away from yourself, and you pull a bite up through the bottom. That's, the, that's that part. And then you're going to come up here, and you're going to pull tight. Now, if, you, if you've pulled it tight and you need to bind it, then there's a, a little loop that you can do called a, a half hitch. I do a half hitch on a bite. And we can spend more time on this next year when we come back if you want. But you can see, you can really wrench this thing down. And if I wanted to... <laughs> the main thing was you kept the Jeep from falling. <laughs> What's that? You kept the Jeep from rolling down. The <laughs> yeah, the Jeep didn't roll down the hill with this knot. But it just pulls right out. So if you need to bind a load, like on your roof rack or on a trailer or something, this is a really good knot to know because you can you see how much pressure you can put on that, how much how much torque you have. Even somebody I don't even weigh 100 pounds, and I pull these two guys together. So can you do it one more time? Do it one more time. You're not going to let me this time, are you? No, I want to. I want to make a note of how you did the knot. Okay. You loop it away from you. Right. Make a loop away from you. Yeah. Make a bite. Just yeah. basically pinch the rope right. and come up through that loop that you made. Okay. One more time. You have to do it this way because if you if you make your knot from this side, that that loop will collapse and you'll never get it undone. You make a loop away from you like so. And then you make a bite, and you come up through the bottom of that loop and pull it back towards you. Okay? And then you grab this, and you can pull it tight. Look at these guys! Show me that next piece where you tied it off. You did a half Okay, you can do a half hitch. You can either just do a plain half hitch where you just kind of you hold it like you have a loop yeah. right there and you come over and and just bring the loose end through okay. all the way i don't like to do that okay. i like to do a half hitch on a bite which means this is a bite right okay so whenever you pull it when you make that little loop there you just pull the bite through and then whenever you need to get ready to go oh, okay. you just pull you just pull it and then you pull this and you're all done so, so that's Good the trucker's job. hitch. <laughs>